Welcome to Razan's How To's. You're going to need these skills in order to make the delicious Glenesk recipes. So today I'm going to teach you how to toast nuts. Same method for any pine nuts, hazelnuts, walnuts, almonds and any seeds that you might want to toast up. I prefer using a pan rather than toast in the, in the oven. It's just easier to handle. So you want a nice non-stick pan on a medium heat, no oil in it. This is plenty of natural oils in any nuts or seeds. So pine nuts in. I deliberately chose pine nuts because I burn these quite routinely. I wander off and go do something else. So you need to stand over them and watch them. You just want to lightly toast them because that's going to enhance the natural flavors in any nut or seed. So with pine nuts, you're waiting for a slight popcorn-y smell and a very, very pale golden spot that will appear on the pine nut. You then need to get them out of the pan very quickly and back into your bowl because the residual heat in the pan is going to carry on toasting them. So turn up the, the pan slightly, but you don't want it on a very high heat because it is going to burn. With pumpkin seeds, you'll hear a popping noise and you'll know they're done. Uh, sesame seeds are quite fun because they actually start flying out of the pan. As you can imagine, they're really, really tiny, so they're going to toast up really quickly. Once you've burnt a natural seed, you have to discard it. So it's a good idea to watch this and just be patient about it. So you can either give the pan a good shake or you can use a utensil to give it a good stir. If you want to toast large quantities of any nuts or seeds, you can actually freeze them then to keep them fresh. Because unfortunately, once they're toasted, they can go off very quickly. There's no harm in freezing them in batches as and when you need them. So I can actually smell these, that slight popcorn smell. Now certain nuts and seeds are actually really quite expensive. Um, so they're a lovely garnish, a lovely addition to any recipe that you're making, but you can't afford to go through batches and batches of them um, if you're going to burn them. Uh, don't overcrowd the pan if you're toasting any nut or seed, uh, because you need a bit of room and movement there so you're able to stir it easily. So now, pay attention, you're getting a very light golden spot on your pine nuts. You can see that happening, and they smell sort of popcorn-y, they're good to go. So time to get them out of the pan and back into your bowl. So that was really quick and easy, and it creates a lovely addition to any of your recipes. Toasted pine nuts.